and you know, sorry, and depending on time, depending on generations, hundreds of thousands of generations of, of accumulation of knowledge. So, um, date. What's that? Date. The, yeah, yeah, so I mentioned the other date, yeah, 1779, you know, founding of Nashville. Um, Oh, the light bulb. Okay, well, um, like the change in the light bulb is, is more of um, a whimsical aspect, you know, to be able, you know, it's you know, I guess doing some maintenance. And when I sculpted the moon, I did, you know, in my you know, quest for detail, um, that was one of the first things I sculpted, and I tried to sculpt all the craters as best I could, you know, to a certain level. So hopefully if somebody knows something about the moon, they might, you know, be able to say, oh, there's Tycho, there's this, or <laughs> you messed this up. Um, <laughs> hopefully not. But, you know, but, but even even on the, 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 the back, the dark side of the moon, the back side, um, I tried getting those craters, you know, as accurate as I could, though, even though that's, aesthetically speaking, the front, we do have the best side of the moon, basically. Some of the things I put down, again, I, I try not to be too exacting what things are, um, such as, you know, he is looking at the Ryman Theater, I've included, you know, um, um, uh, micro, micro, old, old fashioned microphone, window, you know, the, the front window, um, hopefully enough clues, you know, people can you know, figure it out. You know, or, or to or to seek it out, I should say. Um, but you know, you said, you know, you know, like there are some of the books you know have have little notes in them. There is one that is blank again, representing you know the more of the knowledge that you know, has yet to be discovered. Um, all the telescopes are based on actual telescopes, They're not necessarily um, scale models. The only one that's a little more truthfully done or attention was this one, which is actually uh, based on um, Galileo's first telescope. So we have, you know, unwritten, thing, you know, unwritten history with the most ancient of telescopes. And around, you'll notice little symbols. Those are all symbols for the planets, 28 recognized planets. Uh, of course, this project came about right as Pluto was demoted. Um, Pluto has been represented, though, you'll notice on the other side of the coffee cup is the symbol for Pluto. Um, so, because it can't be that Pluto. Um, and then we have the Earth. Um, Earth is a little bit more of the rug, you know, has representations of the planets. Again, the planets are in the position they were um, on December 25th. But also, you know, amongst that is also a map of the world that he is sitting where, you know, where Nashville would be sitting. But uh, if I'm interested in seeing, you know, coming back in, you know, over the years to see what parts do get polished, um, you know, by the touch. And like I said, you know, these are all meant to be touched, to be handled. Um, if you like a favorite. <laughs> What's the effect of hands touching the time? Um, it, it'll basically you know, rub off the teeth a little bit. If you give it enough time, centuries, <laughs> I mean, it would wear the bronze down. There is a uh, famous pot sculpture of a boar in Florence, Italy. And I believe it was, you know, it's been around since Michelangelo. Uh, but tradition is like people always rub the snout, and this thing has been, you know, for five centuries, the snout has been worn down. Um, and that's kind of the beauty, like, you know, there, yeah. you know no, no effort to restore it, any, which is the right one. It's like, it's because everybody who touches it takes a little piece of it away. You know, ancient, ancient history. And why did you choose uh, the rhyme of the Hampton Beach morning school? Um, kind of all the things you put in There's kind of a practical purpose in that, in that you know, I, you know, He's face, so he's so he could be facing out. I did not really want to, you know, have him facing here because I think it would make it awkward, and then people in the street would see his backside. Um, so there's kind of, there's kind of the, the practice. Um, 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 
they'll know what it is. But yeah, you know, it's spark of discovery. Uh, as you know, you find it, you know, wanted the base, you know, wanted, you know, really encourage kids to actually go up and actively touch it, feel it. Um, one, one thing that you know, a lot of people did wonder about is, you know, the girl with her hands, you know, with, you know, the the, uh, the thing that is holding her in trance, her hands are empty. There's nothing actually there. And I thought. I, mean, I thought for weeks what single object could I put in that hand that would be good, but everything I came up with, even just like a blank spear, you know, is too literal. Um, yeah. So I feel like this way, you know, people can project their own ideas of what she is looking at. People may actually, and also, you know, I don't necessarily discourage this, um, you know, but you have an object <laughs> that could end there. Um, you know, like, like maybe, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that people, you know, you know, precious little things, and you know, maybe every day it'll change. 